Mike the Mark. Bite the mark! What's up everyone? My name is D. Josh Ritchie and it is currently 11.58 at night for me right now. I should be asleep because I have high school graduation in the morning. I could be out with friends right now getting something to eat. I could be getting some much needed sleep. I could be editing my videos for my show. I could just be hanging out with my family, I could be having a life, but hey, you all need your WTF moments, so, WTF moments, you should be Rampage, let's get going. First off, we got Kobe Jordan's promo at the start of the show, and his voice kept on going down and then up in pitch, it was not scary to me, it just proved that Kobe Jordan knows how to use a soundboard, so, I'll give him a call next time I edit in my show. If anyone was watching the live stream Wednesday when it was supposed to happen, you notice that it stopped about 15 minutes into the show because Brian had to stop to do the personal reasons that I threw my schedule off. I couldn't stay up last night to do the video because I had to work in the morning and now to stay up tonight even though I have graduation today. So thanks Brian for throwing my schedule. <laughs> it's not your fault at all. It's not your fault at all. It's not your fault at all. Now we're going to the commentary. Max called Lido Leah. <laughs> Part of the way into the show, I noticed a little black box appear on the screen there, and I don't know how many jokes to make about this. Just WTF. After having performed a vicious backbreaker onto his opponent, Max said to Lido. Lido, by God, since you're the king of concussions, Havoc might as well be the king of backbreakers. That title belongs to a certain NXT superstar that we all know and love. And that person is this guy right here. Maybe a certain strong guy, maybe a certain Roderick Strong. He cannot be the king of backbreakers because that's already taken by someone, you stupid idiot! I don't think that's the women's all-star championship, Ryan. Are you smoking that stuff Jose's been giving you? I've been warning you, do not smoke that stuff Jose's been giving you. That is not the right stuff. Don't be drinking that, don't be smoking that stuff. That's not good for you. That is not good for you at all one bit. Jokes aside, that's not, that's, that's not the title of WTF. After just one move by Aaron Kuzan, Lido Deck immediately picked him to win the match. How could you possibly know that he was going to win the match, Lido? How could you possibly know? Is this match like predetermined or something? Is this match somehow predetermined? Of course it's not predetermined because no rest of matches in the world are ever predetermined. Not one bit. They are absolutely not predetermined at all. Not one bit they are. They are absolutely not predetermined. I am 100% sure that they are not predetermined at all. And our Cruzan finally gets a win. Hooray! Hooray! Whoopee! The offspring of Venom, Finn Balor, and Lord Tenzai appears on UCW. WTF. Riddle me this, Matthew Storm. Why the hell is the offspring of Venom, Finn Balor, and Lord Tenzai stealing quotes from the Riddler in 2017? Why are you doing that, Matthew Storm? Why is 2017? Don't be doing that! Oh, would you look at that? There's a rumble coming to UCW soon. Maybe something might need to make that rumble a little bit more. Epic. But who could that be? Who could make the marble more epic? Hmm. Cassidy beats Cabrina in 30 seconds. <laughs> Lido said this following quote as Sylvia, I'm pretty sure, got a table out in front of the crowd. The crowd wanted wood, now they got it. I am almost 100% certain that just about every single guy in that audience had wood when the women came out in front of them. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain that they all had wood. Well, Brian didn't have wood until Karen came out because we all know them. They and the. 
<laughs> it's about that moment, everyone! Blah, 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 blah. Brian the Brain returns to UCW on YouTube. WTF. When you nut but Karen keeps sucking. With the severe blood loss from all the punches, and with all those punches, and all the times he got dropped on his head, how in the hell is Kobe Jordan not dead, let alone suing UCW? Because their boss just literally beat him up and nearly killed him in front of an entire group of witnesses. I'm just curious how that's possible. Well, wrestling's a weird thing, I guess. Anything's possible in the world of wrestling. That'll be all your WTF moments. I'm gonna be out of church and y'all can just fuck off.